Okay. Hey YouTube, um, this video is going to be my engineering video. I know I promised a lot of y'all that I was going to do this like a long time ago, but I just never got to it. I didn't want to do it in a rush and I wanted to make sure that I had everything down and whatnot. But anyways, I'm finally going to do it now and what I decided I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to make this more like a, informational about my own, um, you know, like high, from high school to college, my future plans and things like that. I'm just going to talk about my experience I guess with engineering and just tell you a little bit about myself and whatnot um and then from that from anything I say and anything you have questions about please 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 put it um put down below as a question comment whatever and then my um, following videos about engineering will be answering those questions if you get what I mean but anyways like I said if any thing does is it clear to you if you have any questions or any type of advice that you want just put it down on the comment below you can even message me if you don't want it to be in a comment you can do whatever just to get it to me and uh, my next videos I will address all those questions and things like that so um, just to start off let me talk a little bit about my high school um so high school I didn't really know that I was gonna do engineering I actually thought I was gonna do like be a doctor or a pharmacist or something like that I did like 222 hours of volunteer in the hospital and realized that I had no business being in the hospital and I did not, could not be a doctor. So um, I got an opportunity to go to this um, honors colloquium slash um, women's and engineering camp or something like that. And it was at a university. And from there, I got to go to different classes. I got to go to, you know, classes in mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, of course, petroleum, aerospace, um, biomedical. And from that, I really found an interest. I was, I was really interested in basically um, chemical and petroleum. Petroleum, petroleum because um, I kind of grew up in the, my dad works for the oil industry, so I kind of grew up, you know, moving around. And I was kind of exposed to that, um, that uh, you know, I was kind of exp um, exposed to that lifestyle of the oil industry in general already growing up. So it was between those two. And then uh, just through high school, I really found that I was really interested in chemistry. And that was the science that I did the best on, the best in, um, out of, you know, physics, biology, God forbid, and all that stuff. So chemistry was the one I did really well. And I did pre-AP chemistry and I also did AP chemistry. So. Um, I didn't think it was too bad. I, I kind of liked it. So, yeah, I, th I then I decided, you know, I don't really want to be limited to just working in an oil industry. I want to be able to, you know, work anywhere else. Because as a chemical engineer, you can work in a you know, makeup company. You can work in, um, like, a food processing company like Frito-Lay. You can work in, obviously, chemical plants. You can also work in the oil industry. So I saw it as a better option for me so that, you know, I could have this broad um broad pool to pick from as far as my occupation went so that's why i chose chemical engineering so moving on i started i graduated high school in uh, may not may june of 2008 and i started college the following uh august and uh my freshman year I did pretty well actually I got a 4.0 which really really helped me because honestly guys engineering it gets harder and harder and harder as you go so you really want to start off really good so that when you do get that low GPA one semester that high GPA your freshman year can kind of balance it up which is what happened to me and uh, which really helped me uh, throughout my my stay in college and when I'm still in college by the way I'm graduating this May and uh, it's going to be obviously May 2013, so I did do five years for this engineering course. Ethically, I chose to do it in five years from when I started because I didn't want to um, put too many classes in one semester. And also, I, I didn't do summer school, really. I did internships and things like that. But again, I can elaborate more on that in another video. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, I was going to talk about internships. So, um... With internships, I kind of really knew, I already knew because of my dad and everything, you know, he gave me advice, he gave me advice and, and told me, you need to do internships, you need to, you know, go to career fairs, you need to do that. So I kind of already had that guidance, but I feel like a lot of people don't have that type of guidance and they don't know really like how to, you know, be completely successful in your major, you know, it's in, in order for you to get that job. So basically internships are very, 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 very 
very important in landing that job offer um, at the end of your um, college career. Um, my first internship, I did it my freshman year. It was like, I don't really want to call it, it wasn't a paid internship, it was more like a, an educational internship and I did it in Nigeria um, that winter break which was a month long and then from there I kind of, I did it in the oil industry and I got you know my first exposure into the oil industry and I found out that I actually really liked it so um, I thought about it and I started gearing towards that route and the next uh, summer, my, my sophomore summer I did my uh, another internship and uh, that one was also in the oil industry. Again, all the all the interest internships I've done, which have been four, I've done four internships. They've all been with like big oil companies like Exxon, Shell, Chevron, and so on. So um, yeah, I did my my second one in my sophomore year summer, like I said, and I did a third one um, the following summer, my junior year, and then the last summer, this last summer, I did my last one. And from that, from my last internship, I was able to land a full-time job offer, and I will be starting, you know, my full-time job in uh, this this coming summer. So, like I said, if I didn't have those internships, if I didn't have, you know, all that experience, and I probably would not be, I probably would not have landed that type of opportunity that I, you know, did at the end of the day. So, along with you know experience and internships also like I mentioned before GPA so you want to have a good GPA and you want to have that experience and both of those combines along with you know a good personality and like being a people's person and um, you know being involved in school that's another thing I want to talk about I might not talk about it in this video but I might elaborate more in another video but while I was in school I made sure that I was involved as far as clubs and things like that, I kind of did a little bit too much. My especially my sophomore year, I was in like seven or eight organizations. Don't do that. But um, yeah, and also leadership. You want to you know do something that you really like. And for me, if I'm really passionate about something, I'm gonna go all the way into it. I'm gonna most likely become um, a leader in it. So uh, in my school and a whole bunch of schools around the U.S., they have like, something called ASA, which is African Student Association. So I was a big 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 part of that and um, I was vice president for like two years and I was really into it so again with that I had that leadership experience so that's something that you know another thing that you really want to have as far as I mean as well as you know the GPA the experience the involvement you also want to have leadership but um I don't want to talk too I feel like I'm talking too much about each thing but basically that was it and then the last thing before I talk about my future plans which I kind of already mentioned but um, I want to talk about is Nesby. Nesby is National Society of Black Engineers. I feel like Nesby is like the, one of the most beneficial things for like black engineers. I don't, and I feel like a lot of people do not realize like the potential and what Nesby has to offer. They have this thing called um, it's like a national it's the national convention and they have it every year during the springtime. I think this year it's like end of March, beginning of April. It's about five days. It's from it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days I guess. And um, it's basically a huge conference when they two hundred I want to say two hundred more than two hundred companies at least above I know above a hundred companies visit Nesby um career fairs and it is a huge like it's the biggest career fair I've ever seen in my whole life literally it is a huge career fair there's so many companies there and they're all recruiting black engineers of course you don't have to be black to be an SB you can be Hispanic white whatever the case may be Asian it doesn't matter but obviously it's geared towards black engineers and like I said at the, the career fairs there there's like over 200 companies there looking for black engineers and also with their career fairs, it's a little bit less competitive. As far as with my school, my school, the career fair, and just um, the environment in general is kind of a little bit com competitive because everyone is really, really smart and everyone's going for the same jobs that you are looking for. But with Nesby, since there's so many, so many companies there, and um, I feel like the competition is a little bit easier in terms of landing a job. I actually got my last internship offer from Nesby, which was awesome because that was what led me. To my final you know um, job offer and whatnot so Nesby is really really crucial and I would I really advise y'all if you're not registered to go this year which it is in April March April ish go to the Nesby site it's nesby.org I think I'm not sure and you know look it up and, and try and figure out you know if they have it in your school every school 
that I know of has a Nesby chapter in their school. So if you're in, in, in engineering, I would advise you strongly to join your Nesby chapter. I'm not even like a president, I'm not even like, I'm not even on the board or anything about Nesby. Don't think I'm trying to like, you know, make y'all join because I'm a part of it. I'm really not, I'm just a member and I really thought it helped, me. well I know it helped me out as far as like internship and you know, landing my job offer. So, it's really cool. And before I even stop, whoop, I almost forget. With Nesby, like, the conference, I never used to want to go, I used to think, oh, what the heck, like, it's going to be boring, it's going to be a whole bunch of nerds, blah, 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 but I'm telling you, y'all, it is so much fun, like, the first one I went to was in St. Louis, and, like, they have parties, y'all, and then there's so many freaking, like, so many, over a thousand people go to those conferences, and they're coming from all over the U.S., so you get to meet a whole bunch of people, everyone is extra, everyone is extra, 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 extra friendly, and then you get to go to a whole new city with all your friends, and, like, meet new people, and go to parties, like, it, trust me, y'all, it was a lot of fun, and I went the next, I went the following year, which was last year, and that one was in Pittsburgh, and that was also a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun, and if you're Nigerian, Nigerians are plenty there, as in, we even call it Nigerian society of black engineers because there's a lot of Nigerians there. But anyways, <laughs> alright, um, last thing I want to talk about, like I said, was my future plans. Future plans, uh, like I said, I will start my uh, full-time job in July-ish, something like somewhere, somewhere in there. I will be working as, specifically as a petroleum engineer. And um, like I said, I'll start around July, August, so I'm really excited for that. Obviously, I will, you know, update you on how that is going and all. I really hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, obviously, I'm going to make more videos about this subject because, like, I really think this is an important subject, especially to me because I really want to help you all. Especially a lot of y'all said you're looking into, a lot of y'all in high school, you're looking into different majors and you're kind of interested in, in engineering. I would say it is one of the best best fields to go into. I'm not saying that because I am an engineer, but I'm saying that in terms of like, you get to finish school in five years. Although, I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard, but you're done in five years, and then you get, and then obviously the demand for engineers are is high, it's pretty high. So you get a, if you do well, if you, you know, do all the things that I mentioned, you will get a great job offer. And let me tell you, they pay, pretty well they pay engineers pretty pretty well so there's other engineering if you don't know there's civil engineering there's biomedical engineering there is um electrical engineering which um you know that guy that's always in my videos all the time yeah <laughs> he's a he's electrical engineering so um well the engineering is that there's um biomedical there is i don't know if i mentioned that already there is um aerospace um nuclear there's so many different you know things that go under the belt of engineering and like yeah I feel like it's one of the best fields because I mean if you don't want to do medicine you got for like eight how many years like ten or more ten or more years of school at pharmacy you gotta go to you gotta do undergrad you gotta do grad or sometimes you can do it's confusing you get, if there's uh what other majors are law law school like I feel like every other kind of discipline you gotta do a lot of you gotta do a lot more school for it like with engineering you I mean, you can get your master's if you want, but most of the times it's not that necessary. So, yeah. Before I stop blabbing and blabbing and blabbing and going on and on and rambling, just uh, I just want to end this video right now and by telling you all if you have any questions, sorry, I have a little notepad to make sure I don't forget anything, but if you have any questions, please, please, please leave them below and I definitely will answer them for you all. Um, that's basically it, y'all. I hope this video wasn't boring, first of all, and I hope you learned a lot. And uh, like I said, any questions, put them down below. And um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.